So the Queen City, most of the country yeah. dealing with yeah. a really oppressive heat, uh, a heat wave, so to speak. So we're asking that. We want you to vote online. Let us know. So far, most of you are, again, saying, what are people saying? I can't tell. 71. That's the average. I do mine's about 70 or something like that. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so Larry, again, we're talking about this, and, and we're trying to... Um, Brighten people's day a little bit because it is a morning show, but but you have to take this seriously because this for the next four days is going yeah. to be something where you need to check on elderly, you need to make sure that people have air conditioning, check on pets. Yeah, temperatures. If you take a look at this graphic, right, uh, the next four days no break at all. Temperatures in the mid 90s, and tomorrow and Saturday with the air temperature about 95, 96, and high humidity, it's going to feel like about 105 to 107, and that's a My dangerous gosh. heat index, and that's why there there are issues out there, and they will continue until early next week. So, you know, we, we sometimes joke about how hot it is, but yeah, there are issues out there. Heat stroke, heat prostration. I mean, if you work outside, try to limit your time outside. You know, stay hydrated. That's one of the main drink things to do. so much water. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, it's very important to wear sunscreen, keep your skin yeah. covered, Absolutely. and um, it, check on the elderly again. Check, check on pets, make sure if they're outside that they have shelter, a place to go, because yes, it is hot. And again, it's not just hot here. Detroit, Chicago, Washington, New York City, all of these areas uh, are seeing triple digit heat this weekend, especially. So medic officials across the country are warning you just stay safe in this heat. Best thing to do is go inside, wear a school if possible, or get in the shade. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. So you heard that hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Yes, very important. So that's critical advice, especially for those who are forced to work outside. We feel you. All right, so what can you do? Ways to beat the heat. I know, especially parents this time of year, you're thinking, what can we do with the kids? It, it, not even kids. If you want to go beat the heat because you don't want to deal with that super high air conditioning bill, go to a library, Charlotte Mecklenburg Library. There's daily story time. Again, it's not just books. They have computers. Uh, some libraries have 3D printers. There's so many things you can do. Also, a rec center. So Mecklenburg County has 18 different centers with daily activities. So some of these, uh, most of these rec centers, it's free for kids to get into. Adults, $2. So really, they're inexpensive ways to beat the heat. Also, go to see a dollar movie. Here are some of the places you can go do that. You know, movie theaters are nice and cool at all times. Redstone Theater and Indian Land dollar movies, the Gem Theater in Kannapolis, and there are various Regal Cinema places to get uh, that popcorn for a dollar as well. Go in, get cool. Just find creative ways to beat the heat because again, Ben, air conditioning can get expensive, but we all need it this time of year. For sure, that's why, I mean, I I would love to have mine on 65 or 66, but it just gets so expensive. It's what do you just, put yours on? During the summer, like 70, maybe when I go to sleep, I, yeah. I lower it a little bit. It's just, it's- It gets absurdly expensive. It does. All right.